That was a big bang. I sowed the seed. Oh. You can't show that on YouTube. <coughs> We've got a measurement. Yes. Good morning, everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, sometimes through the Sunday video. And today's video is day three. Well, episode three of getting TV sorted, fingers crossed. Anyway, first job is we're gonna have to move the crush. Every single video would have changed dramatically. Tomorrow's busy, um, but so I wanna do it today. It's Sunday and I want the cows to go through the crush at least once. It's just a little bit easier in the morning. I'll explain what I mean. Oh, I'll explain this in a second as well. Crush, like crush football. Fine, anyway. Balls, balls. That's too tall. If you didn't see Chris's video, the super serious video. He came and milked cows for his first time. He's in a series, first thing he's ever done. One key here, full of milk. Right, start today. Katie's back. Hopefully she won't trim any cables today. And Big Brian's back. And Lizzie's back. Fingers crossed for today, or Thursday. So obviously Katie's a work experience girl, so this is a good work experience time. Fingers crossed for Thursday as well. She has volunteered for Thursday. First cow coming in. Two on six. Tell me cows don't like TV in without telling me the cows don't like TV in. So normally cows are here. So obviously with all the noise, they're like, nope, not doing it. Um, but we are getting them through quite nicely, I think. Well, yeah, we're we happy with the throughput. No, no, just have run out. No, the throughput though. Oh yeah, definitely. Come to Last cow of the morning, number 42. She has been served this morning, expertly by Luke. <laughs> Cracking little cow, we actually really, really like it, but Luke just said it's fifth service, so he's put an eighth on her. I'll put her in here and let the bull have a bit of a, a bit of a time with her. Well, not too bad. 145 cows in the first, just, well, I'd say two and a half hours, but even less than that, so that's a good start to the day. There we go. So we'll see you later on when we do the bowl. So just wash down in there. When you finish that, go for breakfast, yeah? Yeah. Just the guys have come to pick the man or two up, so I'll sort them out. Yes, Hugo. Have we done, Hugh? Yeah, you're done. Was he good? He was very good. Very good. Hugh was very good. Hey, yeah, boy. So, quickly in between this video, the reason this man is here, and it's been here just for us to try off camera, not having to film. Sometimes it's better like that, and you don't want to be like, say, the guy who just I'm nearly clean. Has demos all the way, all the time. I cleaned this in the dark last night, so it's not going to be perfect. But better than it could have been. Can't see anything. And if I'm honest, like I said, to Manitou when they drop this off, we're not in the market to buy one. Um, something might be coming soon, just as a bit of a, a long-term demo. And I didn't really want to film something when you're not thinking about using it. You don't want to be that demo guy. 
So we've just had a bit of a play with it. If I'm honest with it, short term, it's just too big for us. It's just a bit too clumsy around our yard. Right, I get it unloaded. We'll load it up. Just about to get loaded up from Metcar Farms. They got their own um, TV program. We actually made a video with them. You might have seen it before this or after this. Um, they have a massive dairy farm. My sister got the invitation to go. A bit of a tour with Henry and stuff. I, hopefully you've ever seen it. And it was just in the cab. It was a fantastic place. And they were doing the whole crop. It was, it was very, very, very cool. Yeah, so they're picking it up. The Man of Two Eyes, just a quick overview. A bit too big. Plenty of power, plenty of um, lift. But when you do have it, so when that grabs full, you have it at the end, you know about it. It starts beeping at you a little bit, comes in the orange, it's like green, orange, red. Um, this had everything, like electric windows, electric, every, it just had everything, you know, we wouldn't get all those features. Best thing about this whole thing was this button. It dropped all the pressure in the hydraulic hoses and you could just do anything you want. That was fantastic, I love that about it. Um, inside the heater worked, <laughs> it's a lot of comforts in life. But yeah, it, it, everything you need, but I think a bit too big for us. How much do you reckon that is? If you wanted to buy that new? 80,000. I just not in the mall. I can't. I can't spend eighty grand. Really. But we got our old man to shit about, and we do have something coming very very soon. Anyway, we'll go back to TV. Oh yeah, uh, it's from twenty one weeks. So we've had a very uh, hearty breakfast, and, and guess who forgot to tell his mother that the farm shop was making us breakfast? That was me. So well, I did leave it for you this morning. I told you this morning, Dad, that we'll get food from the farm shop. So Mum's gonna make us. You're gonna make us a fantastic lunch, aren't you, Mum? That's gonna involve. Sausage, pasta, and bacon. Everything's just going to go in. Look, Katie's found this. Anyone at MySco who's lost a uh, <laughs> Swiss Army knife? Go on. What, what is it? <laughs> just a thing with pen knife. She was like, "Look what I found! A pen knife with all these things on it." So a Swiss Army knife. So if, yeah, if you're at MySco College and you're losing one of these, Ginger's got it. <laughs> Dry cows. We're back. Dry cows. Well fed. Too well fed. Too well fed. Too well fed. Too fed. If you do too too much, you do feel a bit. Potentially. Yeah. Too much. 30.58. Yeah. So we have two bulls in the dry cows. I am in charge of castrations. I made a mistake twice. There's no one else to blame here but me. Three, 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 six. Okay, those two is 706 kilos. Fun fact for you. Dry cows. Done. Hey, let's go. <laughs> No, no, no. Ah. You want to buy any island? No, absolutely. Please, <laughs> no. So we got big one coming. So, I don't know how many was last time, so it's a ton, a ton 25. Is he not standing very well? He's not, he's not that. Um, is a torn animal. He's an anxious soul. And uh, can we all say congratulations because Lizzie is pregnant and we can announce it now. Getting fatter on every video. <laughs> <laughs> However heavy, I don't want not a fraction of a weight <laughs> controlling a one ton bull. I was in very danger zone there with you my were, work. But you were really good, well done. Thank you, thank you. 19 uh, over... Eight, 19. 19. Big fat neck. He's a big lad, isn't he? He's a big lad. Just, just watch yourself being there. Now. Obviously, we've done that cow. She's just having a bit of a date with Nigel. And now Highland. Over the road, what an absolute beast! Look at that, got a 
can't show that, can't show that on YouTube. <coughs> Next job is going to get all them out of here and into here. That's the plan. Oh, my GoPro died of battery. So they were, so we ran them out and put them down here. It worked flawlessly. Flawlessly? Flawlessly. Like flawlessly. every single one of them. Every single one. They were tough. Yeah. But uh, the battery died. I use the blue batteries instead of the white ones. The white ones. I think we're happy with these. I think so. I think so. So that is us done. We're just going to put them back. Well, better up later. So unfortunately, for some reason, this GoPro has died. So this morning's audio is not there. Um, Lizzie's not lying a fag. What I did mention this morning is we are spiravacking, which is leptoing all the cows need to do it. And we need to BVD and lepto all of the heifers and some of the heifers over a certain number. So Katie's just learning how to vaccine or charge a vaccination. I don't know what you call it. So Katie's just doing that. And then all these are heifers, so they're going to need BBD, IBR, and lepto uh, vaccination. Some of them are boosters, some of them are their first dose. Pretty much, but we're going to get these smashed off because I'm having to use my phone. I'm going to try and fix my GoPro when I get these guys set up. And then obviously we have the highlights to do. And just because we did miss the audio, the first lot of actually milking cows, how do we get on? They're all fine, all clear. Okay. Happy days. There's 152. Good. So that is number one, two, five, six, done. Nigel, <laughs> you're off. Because <laughs> he's an angry bugger. 40 days. Oh, Megan, 40 days. Becca, what did you just say? Um, so, Minnie's in car. Yeah. I think she's got two in there. That is. Um, two, about 40 days. <sighs> yeah. 40 days? I'll tell you what, he's busy that night, wasn't he? Oh, unfortunately, Minnie is the least friendly. Probably I prefer Megan is the best. Is the best. And then Harriet. And then Minnie is the worst, unfortunately. But we're thinking two. Thinking two. Yeah. Uh oh. Right. She's in calf. In calf. Um, quite <laughs> Sorry. A, <laughs> Sorry. Quite a long way. Um, it's dropped down. Um, so she's four months plus. Four months plus. So Harriet, four months plus. Are you writing that down? <laughs> May. Um, about three months. Over the road was the, our home farm. All good? All good. All good. Thank the baby Lord Jesus. Now we have 130 out. All these have grazed, apart from that pen, actually, it's the last pen. These will be turf and new. Two nervous pens. Um, they're all right if they haven't grazed. If they've grazed, that's the problem. We'll do exactly the same as what we did before. We just don't have the big bry. What a man. What a, what a man. <laughs> he is a Fagging man. Fagging mouth, what a guy. <laughs> Fagging mouth, pushing on, clipping tails. Clipping tails, holding heads. <laughs> and just. He's just a boy. Oh, he makes me look like a part-timer, doesn't he? Anyhow, we're gonna get it crushed in. We're gonna just push it in. It's just easy enough to wait with those um, big uh, gates at the back. So it works a-okay. Hope the audio is good, by the way. I had to take the mic off because it's broken. I bought loads of little bits for it. So hey ho. What we do with this group is we just need to worm them. Obviously, we trimmed them the other day. We need to confirm from Lizzie that they do not have TB. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Um, and then we're going to just worm him just to cover him. This worm has a meat withdrawal of 20, 
uh, 14 days. So the two that we're gonna put in the farm shop next week, we won't do. And then after that, we'll be good. With it. So. That was a big bang. So are we are ready. Lizzie, are you ready? Very. How full are you right now? So full. I'm so Excellent. full. My mum has fed us so well. And this is why I'm putting condition on. I'm putting more condition on than putting cows. Maybe I need some you worms. Should have you when you I need some far. worms. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we should have weighed you. I'm blessed to call you mine. And I know what I'd say about these stumbles and these sways. They made me realize I'm not walking away. So, whilst we're doing this, obviously, so like at the farm at home, I know the audio didn't work, so sorry. We BBD'd and leptoed anything over heifer number 148 so it's about 14 heifers that have calved since we bbd and leptoed no bbd and i beard i bbd and i milked them i leptoed every single milking cow then we leptoed all the heifers they were at bbd and i beard already so the little heifers now we're going to bbd and i be off the first time uh, and then we are doing sparavac which is lepto for the first time as well we'll have to do a booster in four weeks which is no problem and Lizzie is just taking some blood because dad, when he uh, had appendicitis in his hospital, uh, Oak Hill did a bit of like a, like a lunchtime talk thing about this new beef grant that's coming out. It's well, it's come out. You get like 350 quid if you just take bloods of beef and just kind of show that you're showing, doing the best you can do. So that's what we're doing now. You send them off. Obviously we've got to pay for this, but you get 350 quid. It doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really get it. Uh, it why? I guess it shows it's like a little bit of incentive to kind of improve again. Um, but it's just, I don't know. I didn't go to the meeting, but it just, why would you not do it? It's really good, bet's here anyway. Um, but it's just... Make sure that your BBD protocol is as tight as it should be. There we go. For what you're looking at anyway. Yeah. Last pen to do. Measurement. Yeah, it's alright, it's just good. Normally you say measuring. Sorry, I'm just measuring. That, just... That'll do better. Bigger top. Right, yeah. bigger top. Who is this? 3320. I think. <laughs> We done? We are done. We're officially done. We are and out of the 60 days. What is the conclusion? We're TB free. Jesus Christ. 60, 60, 60. We're done. Um, obviously we were waiting a little bit longer because we were making sure every single animal has been found. And Katie, to be fair, we had three animals we couldn't find. I think just, we were doing too much. I think next time we're not going to BVD, we're not going to laptop because we had to look for the three cows and it was very stressful. We probably spent 25 minutes looking for them. And uh, you just seen at the end there, we just found the last one. So after October, November, yeah. Pemberton's Farm Shop is officially TB free. Uh, been absolutely mental. To start with, to be fair, it was very stressful. I was it very, was. The, the, in that June. Fir that first day was <laughs> awful, oh, horrible. So bad. So it's, it's, it's really nearly nothing for us, to a degree, touch wood. We don't really think about it. No, no. And uh, you, since really. we've had it, there's been loads of different like pockets of it and it's been a bit mad. Um, was that the first one you've ever seen at my spot? Yeah. 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 And I worked, cause we were just having a laugh. We were running them through oh. and then she just appeared and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. So, um, but yeah, it's been good. I, like in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to do this, but we, have, we didn't do anything. We've not done anything. No, no. Genuine. Yeah, no, no. I, I obviously second time you lost two. They were clear when you yeah, killed yeah. them. It's mad, isn't it? Right. But officially, TB free. So a big thanks to Lizzie, absolute legend. Katie, <laughs> solving it. Obviously we've got Brian, Luke, Ben, a lot of people. Joanna, Joanna started off nothing. And now she owns a human. Does it, do I own a human? You have inherited a human. Yeah. <laughs> I made a human. You did make a human. I sowed the seed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, and on that note, Ollie as well. Um, Ollie, on that note, uh, we're officially done. 
We are done. The relief. I can go to market and sell some beef or do whatever. Yeah, fantastic. What a stressful time. We've got to go again in six months. Yeah, got another six months, but you don't have 60 days. And we probably won't have Lizzie. No, I'll have just had a baby. I'll have just coughed. Made a human self. I have. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Celebrate. Have a beer for me. We've officially done it. It might not seem too excited, but I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken long longer day. today than it took normally. It's very rare that day two takes longer than day Why one. did we do so much and we had to know. wait? Oh God. But anyway, we've done the grant, we've BVD'd, we've lepto we've IBR'd, we've castrated. wormed, we've castrated. You've scanned. Oh, did you? I don't know if we have a photo of that. Of the I might show at the end a set of balls, remind me. Katie's learned so much. <laughs> right, and we're going to go. Today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your YouTube channel. Katie, you driving? Yeah. Do you want to drive? Yeah. <laughs> Case driving. Right, see you in a bit. Ooh.